micron gauge data recording the vacuum decay so I thought this would make a great video because I don't have time to rarely do what I've just performed last night and that was a overnight evacuation on a vehicle using a vacuum pump now this is a vacuum pump capable of three microns this is a rubber silicone hose that was just intended for vacuum use only no refrigerant no pressure no that only for vacuum now the weak link in the chain is the use of refrigerant hoses especially used refrigerant hoses that contained uh, ester oil or PAG oil whatever they were used on at the time doesn't matter it's a contaminant but what you're looking at here is a decay that started down at 27 microns right there if that could read that and uh, let's see if I can bring it back right there come on 27 microns so I started at 27 microns when I showed up at this vehicle. I turned on the vacuum pump at 4.45 p.m. last night, and right now it is 7.53 a.m. Right here where you see the rise, that's where I turned off the vacuum source, right there. So there's this gradual increase, and we're up to almost 140 microns now. There's 138 microns right there. And what you will notice, you'll start seeing this pattern. As the rise and the time go by, you're gonna start seeing these steps. When it rises and it starts leveling off, you'll see the level off steps after a period of while start getting longer and longer before it does the next rise. And that's the leveling off rate. Right? Now, if I had the time, I would just wait, but I got to get on to jobs. Um, so this will completely keep rising. Now I know using refrigerant gauges, usually, especially on an overnight recovery, your decay might go up 500, 700, just because you used these rubber refrigerant recharge hoses and you have gauges and everything like that. If I remove the gauges and I only used a silicone vacuum going to directly to a Y branch and going directly to the fittings and then I have shut off isolation valves right at the hoses and I had my micron gauge attached to the pipe somewhere else at a third location or off a adapters off the side and I was just taking a micron reading inside the system you would not see this rapid decay like this as fast and your intervals in between where they steady out would become longer just like you see that one there got a little bit longer and that'll happen more frequently as time goes by and there's a yeah, long one a longer one here comes up a little bit longer one and as time goes by you'll start seeing those intervals decrease in time and increase in length but what I'm trying to say is that I'm going oh, low power mode. What's going to start happening is it will level out. I just don't have time to show you here. But if you notice this, I'm going to try to catch this on my next vehicle that is not on an overnight vacuum. And you'll see how fast the rate of decay is. Because a large portion of the moisture content in this vehicle and my hoses have been removed only due to an overnight evacuation on this vacuum pump. But using gauges and hoses is not the right way to do it. Um, that's another method that in the videos that are released in this last week about other YouTubers website who are professional educators. That's all they do is they make YouTube content some of them have books and training material just on education of HVAC. They do that best. I'm just showing you so you could see real world. They'll show you what happens in a lab and they'll dictate what comes from literature and material about vacuum. But I'll show you what happens in the real world in a real lab and the difference between using gauges and not using gauges. 
if I get time, I'll produce a video. I have in the past without gauges, with adapters, but it's time for me to do that again and show you guys that. I usually don't show that automotive guys because they have a hard time comprehending not using gauges. Uh, it is a better way to do it, but it's gonna take some time to teach guys how to do that in the automotive field. All right guys, I'll see you later. I gotta charge this up and get out of here. But as you can see, we are up to 189 microns and the vacuum is turned off. And I'm reading through hoses, what is accounting for the majority of the loss of the micron decay. All right, see you.